Good morning, everyone. This is a little video just to remind you how to log in to Teams and to log into Clever and find your different activities since we are all home today. I'm looking at the school website, and if I scroll down, I'm going to see this right here that says Student Remote Learning Resources. So if you click on this, I want you to go down to where it says Clever Login, which this should be something you already know how to do from virtual learning before, um, but I know some of you might not have used it in a couple of weeks. So um, click on Login. If you're using a device that you have used before, it's probably going to go ahead and just sign you in automatically. But when you get into Clever, you're going to see all of the apps and websites that you need to complete assignments. So you'll have Social Studies Weekly, you'll have Savas, you'll have um, Studies Weekly, IXL, everything's there. Okay. So I want you to go to Studies Weekly. And for my class today, if you will just mainly focus on making sure that you have completed the reading for weeks one, two, and three. Um, and I say that just because some people have been absent and we haven't been able to make it up in class yet. I know Miss Geyser's class, y'all told me the other day that we hadn't finished week two because we had to do that assessment last week. So weeks one, two, and three are all open for you. You can go back and do the reading. You can complete the crossword puzzle. Um, you don't have to do the activities at the end of the reading, such as uh, for week three, we have a chart like this that is titled Colonial Rule Breakers. You do not have to do that, okay? We will take care of that in class. But if you could make sure that you have the reading complete and do the quizzes, if you feel comfortable doing the quizzes, that would really help us out, especially if you have missed any school here lately and you know that you're behind on some of your assignments. Um, if I gave graded papers back to you, which I didn't get a chance to hand them out yesterday, but last week, if you know that you did not make a very good grade on week two or week one, and you would like to redo the quiz and try to get your higher grade, that's perfectly fine also okay also in clever if you will go to teams i want to make sure that everybody knows that instead of looking for each one of us teachers individually all of our face-to-face -face students are in one pod that is titled fifth grade face-to-face -face pod so when you click on assignments, you're going to see that Miss um, Bombach and Miss Watson had already started adding assignments for you just in case you were ever absent. So you can go in here and see that you have math, science, ELA writing, social studies, that's my class, reading is my class, social studies is week three is my class. Some of these things we've already done in class this week so develop vocabulary and check for understanding most of you are finished with those pages okay so the only reason that you would want to work on those today is if you've been absent or you haven't had your workbook at school or we know that our time throughout the day varies from class to class and so maybe you know we just haven't had time to get to it yet so that's there for you to work on Parts of speech we have not done yet this week. Um, and then you can see these things are due tomorrow. So you don't even have to worry about those. We'll do those in class, okay? But um, anything that says due today, if we have not already completed it in class, it would be great for you to try to um, do as much of that as you can if we haven't already done it, okay? Um, I think... Other than that, just post your questions to the team wall so we can respond to you that way. If there's something that you need help with, 
I don't mind meeting with you one-on-one. -on -one. I can start a meeting with you at some point um, if you need help. But um, I think everything will probably go very smoothly. Just stay in touch with us today. Let us know if you need any help. And um, we will be here for you. So good luck today. I'm glad we're home and out of this weather and not having to wear our masks and getting to just relax. So um, just stay in touch and I'm sure we will see y'all tomorrow.